How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today's going to be a fun one. I know I always say this, but I'm excited about this video. This is a HP Chromebook 11. We unboxed this back in 2013. What is going on everybody? This is Mark with Apple Tech 28 and today we're going to be unboxing the HP Chromebook 11. I haven't used it in a very long time. It's been sitting in a drawer and now it does not turn on. Chances are the battery is so drained that it just can't take a charge anymore. So we're going to figure out how to get this thing to work today. I've already done a couple of troubleshooting steps ahead of making this video. The first thing I did was plug in the power adapter into a kilowatt wall adapter. This allows you to view the amps, the volts, and the watts of your charge. So with that, I got results. The first thing that happens when I plug it in, we are charging at one watt. This computer is about five volts, three amps, so it's about 15 watts that it should be charging at, potentially. Now, the light on the side is also another indicating factor of the issue. It starts off amber, which means it's charging, and then eventually it goes to red, which means battery not detected. That's bad. So that could mean that the battery's dead, or it's just so drained that it's not gonna be able to take a charge until we force it to. So. My idea is we're gonna go inside this computer and we're going to unplug the battery, see if we can get it to turn on while the battery is off and then plug the battery back in and see if it'll start charging that. So I don't really know much about what, I, what needs to be done in order to take this apart, but I do know that there's screws under here likely and then maybe some down here. And then we should just be able to use the clips around the edge to pull this bottom panel off. Once I do get this off, my plan is to plug in, unplug the battery, plug in the power, then plug in the battery and see if that will start charging. We will use our kilowatt adapter, which I'll show you later, and we'll see if that jumps up from one watt to anything higher. First thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and pull off this blue plastic piece right here. It should just pop off. It's not a sticker, I don't believe. Well, that's surprisingly easy. And there we go, we have this blue piece off and we have six screws right here. So let's go ahead and take out these screws. Okay, and now I suspect that there are some screws underneath this little blue strip down here. So let's go ahead and try and get that off or add it. I might have to use this right here. And there we go, two screws. I assume that's all of them based on symmetry. All right, I believe that is all the screws. So now let's go ahead and see if we can get this bottom piece off. So there's just a little bit of adhesive around the edges of the battery, but there we go. We have this bottom piece off and here's our Chromebook. There's not much to that, surprisingly. This is all empty, but here's our battery connector right there. So what we're gonna to try to do is we're going to unplug the battery, plug in the power, then plug the battery back in. And I'm gonna have my kilowatt meter reading so we can see if we get a jump in our charging at all. So right now we're reading zero watts because the computer is not plugged in. I have this on the floor, so unfortunately I can't show you exactly what it says, but I'll, I'll tell you. So uh, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and plug this in and we'll see what happens. So we're at one watt, as it said before. And on the side we have an orange light um, which it did have before. You can't quite see that very well. And then now it just turned red. It's at 0 0.7, 0 0.9 watts right now in between there. So now that it's red, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and plug in the battery 
and see if that gets us something. Okay, so we're still at 0.8 watts, about 0.7. And it looks like it's still staying red. You can see that red light there, possibly. Um, we're still at 0.8 watts. And it looks like it's not doing anything. So let's go ahead and unplug this. We'll plug it back in and see if that does anything. So battery is not connected, but it is plugged into power. So theoretically, it should turn on. Oh! And it actually showed up very briefly on the screen. Let's try that again. It looks like it's wanting to turn on, but it's not actually doing anything. When I do press the power button, this light flashes, the screen flashes, and then nothing though. Let's put the battery back in and see if it'll turn on. Wow, there we go. It's turning on, it's staying on, and um, we have an orange light on the side. Let me check the meter real quick. And we got 12 and a half watts right now. We're to a red light on the side now. So that means that it's still not happy with the state of battery charge right now. And it looks like we don't have a battery detected. Let me log in, open up terminal and see what it says. So we have logged in and we are inside of um, the Chrome shell. And we're doing I'm gonna call battery test up here and see what it says. And it says no battery found. So that's not good because the battery is plugged in and this red light means that it's not running off of the battery. It's just acting like this does not exist at all. So yeah, it's not working it seems. Battery is not found. So it seems like it may not be the case that it's just not charged, but it's completely dead. It's not even being found. So it looks like this is gonna end up being to have to be a complete battery swap, it seems. So unfortunately, it looks like this computer is not going to be fixable the way that I thought it was going to be done. I saw someone else having the same issue. They unplugged the battery, plugged in the power cable, then plugged in the battery, and it worked. But unfortunately, it didn't work that way for me. We're still charging at one watt. It's not doing anything else, but it does power on. We did figure that out. If you plug in the battery, and plug in the power, it does turn on, but it doesn't run off of battery power. It runs off of wall power. The battery is no longer detected. So this is probably gonna be needing a complete new battery, but considering it's seven years old and I don't use it, we're not gonna bother fixing it. But this is a fun experiment, taking apart a Chromebook, seeing what's inside, not much, and trying to bring this thing back to life. It is possible, just need a new battery, and I don't use it, so I'm not going to bother. If there's something I missed and something I can do without having to buy a new battery, let me know. I'd love to get your feedback and we can make a part two where we try to get this thing working with what we have right here. But other than that, I don't think there's much more we can do in this video. I was hoping we could fix this, but it was a fun learning experience nonetheless. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know in the comment section. If you like this video, leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark and I will see you in the next one.